Can they see me? No, I'm on camera right now. Okay, oh. the audio is off. I'm just, I'm panicking, y'all, because I, I'm, I'm really struggling trying to figure out this. Uh, the event business is not straightforward to me. And so um, I'm trying to, I had the audio turned off because, you know, Patty and I were just chatting amongst ourselves before we got the stream started. But it looks like I did everything right. I just was worried about not doing everything right. So can you hear me now? Can everybody hear me now? I'm not using a separate microphone because um, on, on the previous attempt at this, there was a, an echo. All right, they hear you now. They hear me now. Okay, so it looks like we're all here with the audio working, so here's Patty. Good afternoon. Day, uh, what, three? Day three on our sourdough starter. And we have some separation again. And we're going to feed. I hesitated to do this every day, doing a feeding, because it's the same thing every day. Uh, but um, once we get uh, more volume in here, we'll switch to a larger jar possibly and then we may be feeding it a little bit more but still it's the same process but i still think it's a good idea that y'all can see it now i'm i'm encouraged by my uh sourdough starter um let's see i don't know if you can see it it's a little foamy no you gotta raise no, it up. no raise it up okay i don't want to pour it out it's a little foamy so that's a good sign having a, the smell is changing a little bit so that's good, and I can tell the texture of it has definitely changed in the jar. Um, you can see some of the little bubbles right there. That's what we're looking for. Some little bubbles to start going, and it's getting more active. So anyway, so we, this is three days. Somebody, somebody had asked how long is this going to take um, start to finish. I don't know because I normally will have thrown in a little bit of uh, yeast in here. We could have fed it more if we would have put some yeast in here and it might would even be ready today to make bread. I'm not sure. But I typically <clears throat> do a little bit of yeast to make it go faster. Um, but we're showing traditional Yeah, this sourdough. is traditional sourdough. And, and so, so, so the time relies on or depends on the activity of the wild yeast yes, in your environment. That's correct. That's correct. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this fed. I'm gonna go do a fourth of a cup of water again. And I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of flour. And I'm going to do an eighth of a cup of sugar. And I'm just eyeballing my eighth in there. And then mix it up. I haven't been checking my starter in the afternoons. Uh, this is at my mom's house and I haven't been over here. So I'm curious to know, have y'all seen y'all starter bubbling or anything uh, in the afternoon? Work starting to work? I'll try and come check it this evening. Well, I'll see it this evening because I'll be mixing up my sourdough bread for the farmer's market. Yeah, talk while you're doing that, talk a bit more about, because uh, I'm not sure how clearly because of the lighting and all, uh, we're not using thousand dollar equipment, how, uh, uh, talk about what they should be seeing today on day three. Just try to describe the uh, in more graphic detail what you were seeing. Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> That's pretty graphic. I mean, you bubbles. Know, um, you'll see it start. Uh, you you know my level is here, but you'll actually see that starting to bubble up and uh, look like it's growing and it'll have little little uh, bubbles in it and you can just tell that it's it's working now it has bubbles in it right now because i've stirred it but you'll you'll uh when you see it you'll know it now i'm gonna tell you this i was over here getting things ready and i smelled something that smelled stinky 
and so I almost kind of like something dead. And so I started looking around, and I couldn't find anything. I mean, I don't know what would have been on the counter dead, you know, but it just stunk. Uh, bad news. It's my wheat starter. Your whole wheat starter? My whole wheat flour starter. It's really stinky. It's, it's past sour. It's, it's bad. Anyway, I'm throwing it away. Um, I still want to do this starter because I want to make the iron. This is the one that I did with the iron corn flour. And I mean, it just really, it really stinks pretty bad. Any idea anyway, why? No, I don't really know why. I don't know. I guess it picked up some bad yeast. I don't know. Oh, ah, well, that's air. what Carly Emery said. Yeah, yeah. And so it's really bad stinky. So I'm going to throw this away. And this will need to, I'm not going to throw my jar away. But uh, <laughs> I'll have to uh, scrub this jar good and clean too. I mean, maybe it was clean jars I used. I mean, it possibly could be that, you know, it wasn't clean enough or something. I don't know. Um, like I said, I can tell y'all what I do and what has worked for me. But I can't always tell you everything behind the scenes that the whys and how comes and all that but anyway i think what i'm gonna do and tom and i'll talk about it i think what i would like to do is to go ahead and do a new starter with this and go ahead and do some yeast um should we do that as in a totally separate video how to start a sourdough starter with whole wheat flour and yeast no i don't think so i start. think we can incorporate it in, into so, this series anyway i just realized maybe, maybe tomorrow Tomorrow? Okay. Or today? Oh, you can do it today. We can do it today. Do it today? Yeah. I have to get find another jar. But anyway, um, so, should we do that now? Well, do before that? we do that, uh -huh. while you're doing that, I'll say that yeah. viewer Bugsy43 commented that uh, first sourdough with no yeast took about 12 days. Okay. And, um, you know, that's, the, the thing I would point out there is right. uh, it may take fewer days or right. more days just depending on uh, the wild yeast population in in your area the yeah act, how active they are you may have lazy yeast and it may take more and, and it depends on how warm it is too where you're at chicken coop that's, that's one thing that's one thing that I keep forgetting that I need to move my starter uh, I don't know yeah you can see the window behind me uh, and I'm, I'm afraid that it is getting sun so uh, that might be one reason that mine, uh, my other one spoiled because it was getting sun. So, so we'll be sure to move it today. Uh-huh. Um, Chicken Coop wants to know, what if you're late on a feeding or uh, just miss a full 24-hour feeding? Feed it anyway. Um, sometimes if it goes too long without feeding it, it will die. But then... You know, it used to depend on circumstances. Um, I have missed feedings before and just fed them. In fact, I've got my uh, sourdough starter here. That's for the farmer's market. And I was hoping you could see a little activity. I took it out of the refrigerator yesterday to uh, start getting it ready. And um, it, uh, you just really can't see it. It's a little bubbly. Can we do something, do the camera different or something where we can look in I here? I can try, yeah. I haven't stirred this down. Your, your foot's on the floor. Um, I haven't stirred this down. Bear, bear with us as we try to manipulate this camera a little bit. And so you see, it's working. And this is straight out of the refrigerator yesterday. I've left it sit on the counter to get room temperature. I could have fed it last night, but I didn't. Um, I should have. I didn't. So I'm going to feed this today. Now, I'm going to feed it... Uh, Probably uh, a cup. I'm gonna do, go ahead and go do a whole a cup of flour, a cup of water, and a half a cup of, sh of sugar. Because uh, go ahead and raise it back up, Tommy. Um, Walk back where you. Anyway, uh, and this will be active, and I'll make bread with this tonight. I'll mix up my sourdough for the farmers market tonight with this. So let's see. Where could I find you a jar? Um. There may be one in the uh, bin right over there. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a little bit more water. I'm going to go ahead and feed this starter too. <clears throat> 
Oh, you need a wide mouth? Is there a wide mouth in there? Okay. I'm going to go. I got my water for my new starter that I'm going to be doing. No, not a full size one. Go ahead and get me the smaller one. The smaller wide mouth? All right, this is a cup of water that I'm putting. Cause see, I have so much volume here. This is about almost a quart of uh, starter that I have. So I'm feeding it more because it will eat more to keep it going. And so that was my cup of water. And here's my cup of flour. And show you this starter tomorrow how bubbly it gets um it uh i'll use it tonight but i'll feed it tonight also because then i'll make cinnamon rolls in the morning with it and i haven't done a video on cinnamon rolls yet i intend to i just haven't gotten around to it maybe i can uh make them make the no i'm not making cinnamon rolls tomorrow that's right i forgot i made a double batch and you can actually freeze them so they really it's, I, I love that cinnamon roll recipe Okay, now sugar, this gets a whole cup, I mean a half a cup, I'm sorry. And you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead, I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what went wrong on the other one, that other starter that I did with the einkorn flour, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put the sugar, I'm going to go back to what I know, and I'm going to go ahead and put the sugar in it too, like, um, I'm used to. And I'm going to do a quick start with uh, by using yeast. So that'll that'll show you two different methods anyway. So in case uh, I'm gonna have to get me a new uh, coffee filter because remember what I was telling y'all about making sure it's dry. Well, this one wasn't dry, so it had stuck on here. So I have to get a new coffee filter for that. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use this jar. It's a because it's a wide mouth jar. Um, I'll switch it over to a, uh, a bigger jar later. And, and that jar is a jar that was previously cleaned. Yeah. Um, and, and the dishwasher that's sterile, <coughs> sterilized yeah. in the dishwasher. It was, it was sanitized in the dishwasher and um, it was stored uh, in a protected area with coverings. Yeah, it was covered. So. I do that just because of dust and all that won't get into it. and. And then when I go to can, all I have to do is get it hot and have some hot water around it. All right, and there's my fourth of a cup of flour. Again, I'm starting my, my uh, whole wheat starter over again because I lost it. It got very stinky very fast. That was three days and it was bad. So, all right, and there's my fourth, my eighth of a cup of sugar. With the addition of the of the yeast, will that one catch up? This will go faster. It'll go even faster. Yeah, so this will go faster. So if you wanted to to to, to do both, um, go ahead and uh, start a starter just like. Um, we did before, just like I'm doing now, and we're going to add a little yeast to it. So let me ask you this question. Let's just, and, and there may not be anybody thinking this. But, but you just, know what? Here's the problem, though, with this. This really could probably be fed twice a day. See, I'll have, I'll need to feed this maybe in the morning. Because it'll be hungrier. Yeah. So I think we're only going to, we're going to try a fourth of a teaspoon of yeast in here because... I would normally put a teaspoon when I'm doing a cup, so that would be a fourth of a teaspoon, yeah, okay. to put in this little bit. So we'll see how it goes. And like I said, I've not done a lot of work with the einkorn flour, so, you know, I really don't know, you know, what happened. <clears throat> I really don't know. Well, we'll try it again and see, yeah. you know. Let's try it again. I mean, you know, at least, you know, the einkorn flour does cost a lot more, but... Being that we're we're starting with using the small amounts, it's you know it's it's not that expensive. So, and I'm just going to put a fourth of a teaspoon of yeast in there, and this will have activity today. And tomorrow when we get together, I will let you know what I've had to do if I had to feed this again tonight. 
So maybe it'd be best if you're going to start this maybe to wait. Well, I'm going to tell you, yeah, maybe it'd be best if you wait till tomorrow where we can see because I'm really thinking it's going to need to be fed twice a day. So, because it's going to get active pretty quick because this this yeast is already alive, you know. So, and, and that's what will kill your starter is if you don't feed it as often as you need to and it runs out of food or energy. So. We've got some questions. You just let me know when you're okay, ready to answer the questions. Okay, I'm ready. And I'm going to do my coffee filter and lid on this in a little bit. What's some questions? Um, let's see. Let me scroll back up here. <clears throat> um, Jan says, if you start a starter with one of those San Francisco packets, mm -hmm. will the local yeast eventually take over the starter anyway? I'll just let you know Yankee Living says yes. Yes, I, and I would agree. Um just because of, of that it's going to be in more abundance um and i had a friend too he he's deceased now but he told me about a uh, order and i think it was a san francisco starter i'm not sure but he had ordered a starter and i've wanted to try that i just never have and he said it was amazing how he said it was he, he had put made it up and left it on the counter and he knew he's made sourdough bread he knew to put it in a big jar and all that he said it was overflowing it was so active so Anyway, so I would like to try that one day. I just haven't yet. All right. Uh, my homesteading project says uh, I have some separation, but very few bubbles. Does mm -hmm. it need to be warmer, maybe? Uh, where uh, I'd like to know where you're keeping it. Um, if you keep your house extra cool, like, you know, in the 70s. Um, and low, in the low 70s. Yeah, and like I said, well, I mean, but in the kitchen, it's typically going to be a little warmer in anybody's kitchen, you know, because you're cooking in there and stuff like that. Uh, um, you know, if it's 75 to 85 where, you, where you're having your jar, I would imagine that that's plenty warm enough. It just could be that she's got lazy yeast, huh? Well, mine's not real bubbly either. No, that's right. You know, and then somebody <laughs> said 12 days. So, you know, this is kind of like an experiment. I've never kept track of how long. And to be perfectly honest, I typically will throw a little yeast in there. You know, maybe we'll take a vote. Who wants to get it going quicker? We can make bread. <laughs> you know, if we don't have, if we can't bake, make bread by Monday, maybe we'll do that. You know, we'll take a, you know, a poll and see what everybody wants to do. So. Yep. Uh, Yankee Living says, uh, mine is dormant in the fridge. I get it out and start feeding it a couple days before I want to bake. I've mm -hmm. had the same starter for five years. Now. Wow, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jan says, <clears throat> if you don't want to move to a larger jar, can you split the starter and have two smaller jars? That Yes, you most definitely can do that. And there's you may know people that uh, would like some starter. And there's also recipes out there that you can make pancakes with uh, star, you know, with your extra starter. Um, even if it's not quite ready yet, there's, there's recipes that have actually have bacon soda or um, and stuff like that to help it to rise a little bit more. And also, I believe there's a biscuit recipe too. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't care for the pancakes, but I did make it with a starter that was pretty soured already. And so, um, you know, with us building our starter and it not being real sour, the pancakes would probably, the, so the pancakes wouldn't be as sour either, so. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Yankee uh, points out in talking to Jan's question about the local yeast taking over. Uh -huh. She makes a good point that that's why the same exact recipe can be different flavors right. all, all over the world. Right. I'm going to tell you this. I feel like the starter that this is where I've told you all before, we're at my mom's house right now. That's where I do all my baking at for the market. We're here now. I find the starter uh, has a different smell here at her house than it does at our house. And to me, it's not as sour of a smell. Yeah, we're talking about a couple hundred yards. Yeah, yeah. Difference. yeah. But her house is wooden, uh, you know, it's got, you know, mostly wood in the inside and everything. So, you know, it's just different atmosphere. Uh, David says, I've been watching and it just struck me that growing up, we always used a crock for our starter mix to both insulate it and keep it out of the light. Ah, and so see, that really could be the culprit with mine that went bad because it has been in bright sunlight right here on the counter. Uh, yeah, I've done some reading about the crocs too. And you know, I, I read Little House on the Prairie a lot. And the way that they talk about feeding their starter is that uh, the little scraps left over from the biscuits, they would throw back in to, the, uh, to their jar that they had it in. So, you know, there's different, you know, 
I wonder if it's as sensitive as I think it is going by the way, and they would keep it by the wood burning stove to keep it warm enough. You know, and I'm sure it probably was in a crock back then, especially. Uh, before I read the next question, let me explain something. She said I read Little House on the Prairie a lot. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> she, she reads Little House on the Prairie books, has read Little House on the Prairie books almost every night for the last how many years? I don't know. Five, I don't six, know, but I just years. read a couple of pages to relax and go to sleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's, uh, so much so that I, we've had to replace her set because yes. she, she wore them out. All right, let's see. Uh, Lisa Park asks, what kind of yeast do you buy? Oh, okay, yeah, I wanted to tell you that. Um, let me, uh, I'll go get it and show it to you right quick. I think I will anyway. I think I'm going to put my hands right on it. Um. Stand by. And... You know, I've never done a ton of research about yeast or whatever. I get it at Sam's, and I do it in such bulk that uh, this, you know, it's, it's hard. I'm trying to get it pictured in the right place for you. Uh, it's got light there showing you. on um, Anyway, this is what I buy. It comes, it's in a two-pack package from Sam's. Um, anyway, it's like $4 and something for two of these. And so that is just like, you know, really cheap. So I, I don't know. If it's good or bad, I mean, somebody may comment on there and say that, but I mean, it makes bread rise, you know. So I've really not done a lot of research about it. Um, and I don't have my glasses on to see. Even. I've never even read what's in it. I just thought about it that it was yeast, you know. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all about how the yeast are raised. Yeah, it's got words on it I can't pronounce besides yeast, so. Anyway, well, if anybody's got a recommendation uh, yeah. that maybe has a package that has one word on it, yeast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it does. It says no preservatives, all natural yeast. I know this day and time, the all natural yeast doesn't always mean a lot, but I do. I am glad it has no preservatives. But anyway, I um, I, I, I of course I I keep mine like this when the market's going on, even when the market's not going on, and I keep it in the refrigerator. Um, and then what's left of the package, because uh, it will overflow this jar, I keep this in the freezer. I roll it down and keep it in the freezer. And usually it has a long expiration date, and I have used it after. Let's see, this is March 7th, 2018, and today is July 2016. So, you know, this don't have to go in the freezer. But once I open it, I always put it in the freezer, except for what I'm using out of the refrigerator. So, anyway. Um. Heather wants to know how much yeast do you put in if you want to get it going and her second uh, sort of explanatory comment is that she's on day two mm -hmm. but no bubbles at all. Now she's in Vermont and mm -hmm. it was like into the 40s last night. Oh, wow. We'll be there in a minute. Oh, yeah. We're on the We're way. We're coming to visit. <laughs> Uh, so you're, you're wanting to get yours going a little quicker. So um, I would just put, I would still do the fourth of a teaspoon. That's all I would put. Just, just a little oomph to get it going because you still have, it's still just a little bit of the jar. Now I would put a whole teaspoon when I'm starting this like for the market and I'm going to have a big volume or I'm trying to wake up a lot like this. When, I'm, when, when I, I may have this much in my jar or half as much in my jar, I might would put a whole teaspoon in that. But um, I would try a fourth of a teaspoon and I think that'll wake it up just fine. It'll get it going just fine. And when I say wake it up, the market's going to be over after this month or, or maybe we'll go a little bit into um, I've got little chunks of flour in mine. That's why I'm stirring this up for my market uh, starter. Anyway, um, but so like by August, or in a couple of weeks in August, our market's going to be over. And we will do a Thanksgiving market, a one-day market, that I'll bake up a bunch of bread and everything right before Thanksgiving. So I will put this starter here, because we don't do white bread. Um, I will put this starter in the refrigerator with a lid, not just the coffee filter, with the lid. And it will stay there until November, and I will take it out, and I will let it get room temperature. I'll stir it up good and probably put me a tablespoon of yeast. I'll have to fit, or, or a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on how much I have in here. And I'll probably put this in a smaller jar where it won't take up so much room. And I will uh, get it out and wake it up, and I will make my bread, and I will have a nice sourdough starter. And then it will go back in the fridge in hopes that it will stay good until June when the market starts back, or until I need to make a huge batch of bread for, for something. Um, 
but because uh, I have done it for Christmas presents and stuff like that. But um, that's when I have lost my starter. Uh, when I have left it, say from November to June, you know that's seven months, I think, and uh, around there. And that's a long time to just leave it dormant. I could keep it going if I would take it out once a month, once every two months, feed it, make a few loaves of bread, put it back. You know that would make that would be better for my starter to do that. But I have been able to, to wake it up after six months too, so with with yeast. Okay, uh, Michelle's Crafts and More said that she smelled hers this morning uh, through the filter and could smell the yeasty smell. So she has it in a kitchen window that doesn't get direct sunlight, but it's warmer there than elsewhere in the kitchen. So I think probably on the right track. Sounds like it's working good. Great. Uh, Yankee Living says, yep, uh, mine is almost beer-like smell when it's going good. Also, when it mm -hmm. starts to separate, that's a good sign. It's run out of starch to feed on. Ah, okay. That's a good point. And uh, yeah, i got to tell you, I don't see Grizzly in here today. Um, but yesterday, Grizzly was yeah. wondering about trying using beer instead of water. And uh, he commented uh, on the video later in the day that he's done it. And uh, it's, it seems to be working so i was hoping he's going to be here today to, to give us an update on that um okay kitties i say jan uh, asked uh have you ever used fresh yeast i don't even know what fresh yeast is i, I don't know what you're talking about either um I, i'm, I'm you mean like freshly term. picked like you go right out and pick the <laughs> yeast <laughs> <laughs> stop, <laughs> sorry stop, stop. i tell you what i don't know anything uh, kitty's homestead says red star active dry yeast only yeast uh, that's what I use. Two pounds for less than ten dollars on Amazon. Uh -huh. well, booyah! We will be looking at Amazon yeah, yeah. right after this, yeah. and uh, we'll even post that that link in the yeah. description so others can check it out too. Uh, Yankees got to run. Love the channel. Take care, guys. Appreciate that. Still waiting on Tommy to cook. Don't hold your no, breath. No, 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 no. It, it ain't gonna happen. My culinary skills are extremely limited. <laughs> um, that's it so far. Any other questions out there? before we sign off oh uh while well, i'll give everybody anybody else a chance to type and uh we may miss it because there's a delay and all this but i want to tell you about tomorrow uh, as of right this moment we plan to be live at noon tomorrow uh central time just like today uh, however there's a chance we may have to back it up into later in the day i have an appointment in the morning that i can't miss should be back in plenty of time uh, so just keep an eye out and we will go live tomorrow uh, Hopefully and most likely at noon, but perhaps a little later than that. Okay uh, Doesn't look like there's any more questions Patty anything else. No, nope, not that I can think of. All right Well, tell everybody bye. Bye. I hope to see y'all back again tomorrow. Have a good day